Hi, I'm Bela Notsky, CTO of Access Systems. I'd like to show you how to bring in OpenStreetMap data into our cartography software XBand by using FME. So let's open up a browser and navigate to OpenStreetMap. I choose an area of interest, let's take Munich. Let's pick the Munich in Germany. Here we are. So right in the middle we got the nice English garden, beautiful park. I zoom a little bit more in for this example not to be too big. So this is the south side of the park, that might be a good example. Once I've chosen my area, I go to export. Then I choose the file format, XML. And then I request the server of OpenStreetMap to provide me the data. That goes pretty fast. I save the file on local disk in the temporary folder. I give it a proper name. And now I'm ready for import the data into XPand with using FME. So I open up the FME workbench and I start by creating a new workspace. The input system is OSM for OpenStreetMap and the data set is the file I just downloaded. Next I click here the specific feature types. Then the output format is XBand. I have to provide a valid database connection. Then next I have to provide a coding which tells me what feature types I'm using in the target system and then I have to provide a box that tells me where the data go to. Next I ask FME to provide me all the available feature types in the target and source system. Once done FME parses the input file. It goes quite fast and then it shows me a list of feature types in the output system, which is XPAND. Here I choose only a few of them. I choose a polygon feature type, which shall be the parks. I choose a line feature type, which is the, the bicycle roads, bicycle highways. And finally I choose a point feature type which are the bicycle parking lots. Then I have the feature types of the input system, OpenStreetMap. Here of course, course it's mandatory to have a, a certain knowledge about the source system in order to know where the feature types are. So the parts can be found here on leisure. The bicycle lines can be find he found here and finally Bicycle parking spaces are here. Now FME places those feature types. On the left side I have the input feature types of OpenStreetMap. So up here are the point feature types. Here are the lines and here are the polygons. On the right side I have the feature types of XBAND. So this is a little bit different, let's move that. So each feature type is facing the appropriate feature type. Now I connect, I make a basic connection from input to output, that's very easy. Next I have to define a little bit more specific what I'm using and needing. So let's move that a little bit down. So for the parking spaces I need a tester. So I select this line and I start typing and I type in tester. That gives me a tester. And I'd like to filter out only the point geometry types. So this of course requires the knowledge of the, the data model. So the attribute is called the manitin and the value must be cycle bicycle parking. Then I, I know that the bicycle parkings might be areas as well. So 
I um, create here a geometry filter and with that geometry filter I make sure only to get the point features voila now basically I do the same thing for the other two feature types so let's move that down a little bit again we need a tester in this case the attribute in question is called bicycle and the value must be yes and again we also need a geometry filter in order to make sure only to get the line features so here we are let's connect the line features to the expand feature type oh, voila and finally we'll do the same thing for the polygon features here I know that the parks only come as polygons so there's no need to define a geometry filter but there's need to define the texture in this case the attribute field is called leisure and the value must be park so here we go now I'm ready to start the translation this is a good time to save my work I can later on use the same project and add more feature types or do different things with the attributes and of course I can copy the project and use it but for now let's start the translation by pressing the start button now FME parses the whole features in the input file and it filters them according to my project and writes them into expand once done FME gives me a little statistic this is done by those little figures on the connectors they show me how many features have been read out and filtered and written out so let's check the data that has just been imported into expand I open up expand and I choose expert which is our mapping editor here I first pick the map image I prepared for this example that's this one here then I open up the preview and I zoom on the whole extent because I don't know exactly where the data is uh, here it is right in the middle so let's zoom a little bit more in like this maybe a little bit more so here now I can see the imported data so we have the parks as polygons we have the bicycle highways as lines and we have the bicycle parkings as symbols in expand there's lots of possibilities to define how the data looks like to uh, construct symbology to edit the codings create new ones so at this time the next step would be to change the data I can move the symbols I can move the coordinates here next would be further steps in expand such as automatic generalization automatic labeling and then finally the map finishing and publishing in print or on the internet I hope I could arouse your interest in expand in connection with FME we would be very glad if we could hear from you certainly we will answer all your questions many thanks for your attention and have fun with expand